welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We are gonna be trying on Amazon inexpensive black bodysuits. Um, if you wanna see anything more from me, please subscribe below. Should you have any recommendations on future videos, leave them in the comments below and let's get in the video. Now, I finally decided to go on the whole bodysuit journey, get on the bodysuit train. Um, I've never really seen the need for a bodysuit just because I am such like a black tank top girl. Like I wear black tank tops literally every single day. But um, lately I've noticed I wanted to tuck tank tops into like my pants or shorts or whatever I'm wearing. And just being that I am such a short person, I'm only 5'2", I have like no torso. So like a standard tank top has like a lot of extra fabric on the bottom, right? So if I go to tuck it into something, it'll like bunch up or it'll like start rolling at the bottom and you see this like weird line. So I'm like, I need myself a bodysuit. Now, just because of the state of the world recently, I didn't want to go into a store. So I'm like, let me go on Amazon, see what they have that's under like $20. Um, and I'll buy just a bunch of them to try on, see what I like, and just I'll return the rest later. But I have here 10 bodysuits, all black, different materials, different sleeve lengths, and also different crotch types. So I didn't know exactly what I want. I just got a variety just to try on and see. And my goal is to choose just one to keep. Like I don't need more than one. I have to tell myself this because I've been on like a shopping like retail therapy kick lately and it's just like, you only need one. You can only wear so many clothes at a time. So just one. Should you want to buy any of these, I will link them down below. I don't make any money off of it. It's just for your own benefit. If you want to shop any of them, go ahead. Um, so let's get into trying on these bodysuits. And just so you guys are aware, um, I do have a black thong on and I will be keeping it on when I try on these bodysuits. Even though I think some of these are thongs, just because I do plan on returning them, I don't want it to be unsanitary. Um, also, I am gonna keep these shorts on as well, just because I tend to have like a CT situation and like the whole world doesn't need to be seeing that. However, I will have them down low enough so you guys can actually see where the bodysuit hits on the hip. Because I do believe some of these, um, are more like the 70s style and some of them are just more like straight across okay so here is our first one now this is um long sleeve and also it's like a more like a stretchy cotton material like i can see this like fading pretty quickly it does seem like that kind of more linen-y like cottony type of feel it's definitely like slightly spandexy but nothing like too crazy um this honestly reminds me of, you know, like back in the day in dance class. It's kind of just like a straight up, well, I would consider like a leotard, not a bodysuit, even though they're basically the same thing. Um, now this one does, as you can see, it does hit like a, maybe like mid in the middle of where most of them do. And this is more like standard fit, I think. It is a thong in the back. However, it is like a very thick, wide band to go up your butt so if you're like adverse to that i would not pick this up however i do like the neckline on it like that's like the type of neckline i like either kind of like wider set and definitely not i don't like pointier necklines that's really not my thing um yeah it does make me feel like slightly infantile just because the whole like you know dance leotard thing but I do think this would look really nice, especially with a pair of more, maybe like dark wash jeans or something like that. So definitely a nice, I would say standard type of bodysuit. Um, I do wish it was a little bit softer. It's like slightly, slightly scratchy, but I do think that would probably go away with like one or two washes. Um, but like I said, it might fade as well. It just seems like that kind of material. Now I do have I think more long arms than um, a lot of other people. Like as you can see, they go like way down past my waist. And these are actually like pretty long sleeves, which I actually like. I like having my sleeve um, a little bit over my hand. Um, but also just because it is a cottony material and it's slightly stretchy, I think this would get stretched out. Like once you stretch it to a certain point, it wouldn't like reverberate back. So, 
something to be just a little bit weary of. Now this one also has like the complete snap crotch. It's got like two buttons. And honestly, even though it's like a thong, I can't really feel it in between my legs at all. Like it's not chafing in a weird way. Um, I do think when I sit down, I would notice it though. Like, not that it would be painful or anything, but I, I would just like notice that there's something there, like something hard in between my crotch. But you know, if you're gonna be up and moving around anyway, I don't think it's something that would really, should really deter you from buying this. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know about the whole crotch thing. I'm still on the fence. However, I do like it. We'll, we'll keep it in the books. It's not like a complete no for now, but let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, here's the second option. Again, a long sleeve, um, a little bit deeper of a cut. And as you can tell, I'm not wearing a bra. Like I don't even remember the last time I wore a bra. It's not my thing. I got, you know, part of the Itty Bitty Titty community, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I do like that this goes down. However, I don't think this would be like an everyday type of neckline for me. It'd be more like nighttime neckline. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. But also, this is a whole lot softer of a material than the last one. However, it is also a thinner material. But it doesn't seem transparent at all. Like even though it's like thinner, like I can't really see through it and I have like the whitest palest skin so if you can't see like my skin through it I don't think you'd be able to see like anyone's skin through it so that's really nice um yeah it is softer it's not as stretchy as the last one surprisingly um I do feel like especially right here with this kind of like polyester-y type of material once you wear it enough and it like rubs together, it starts to like pill in the areas where it's rubbing together. So I do think this would do that after a while if that bugs you. I do have like a little like depiller like cutting machine, which is like the most amazing thing I think I've ever bought off Amazon. It was only $12. I'll link it below as well. But you know, I do like the cut. I do like the sleeves are still like slightly like longer than my or go past my wrist a little bit. So I do like that. Now this one is also um, like a two snap crotcher, right? So I don't really feel it in a sense. I don't feel it on my legs. I do feel it up my vagine because guys, this is that 70s style thong. Like it just wants to keep going and going and going up and my Vagine is eating the crap out of this. I have like the world's most amount of camel toe right now It's just it's so not flattering and I can feel it like I have a front wedgie and I can feel it And not only can I feel just a regular front wedgie I can feel like the snaps are trying to ride up into me too. It's just like such like a like a tight experience I don't think I'd be able to even Cause you know sometimes when you like wear a thong it's uncomfortable at first but then you kind of just get used to it and you like don't notice it i don't think that would happen in this case like it's a front wedgie it's a whole lot like i don't i i'm really not jiving with this type of bottom not for me however i do like this neckline and i do like the softness of the material okay guys here's our last long sleeve um this took a minute for me to get in because this is the type of like, it's a ribbed, thick, like suck you in material. So it did take like a minute for me to actually suck myself into it. However, I am someone who carries like a lot of weight like up in my upper arm. And that's where it's like super tight on me. And I don't think this is like the wrong size either. I think I, I think I got these all in mediums, but I can tell this isn't the wrong size for me because everywhere else it fits just fine. It's only up here and such as like such a thick like tight material it's kind of really uncomfortable so definitely will not be keeping this one but I do like again the same type of neckline I usually go for. I do like the ribbedness of it like you can tell I don't know if you can actually like fully tell like it's actually ribbed and like textured so that's like a nice little touch right but this is also a snapper in the crotch and it has like a row of three snaps unlike two that we've seen 
and I think it's so wide I can feel it but also the part where the snaps come together sets like more behind than the other ones so I can actually feel this like the snaps like kind of like rubbing against me in like the worst possible way also this is again more of like that 70s style high rise hipness did I totally get deodorant over it? Yes, I did. Um, it's a thong as well. Again, like this part fits me really well. It's just like this part is so, so tight on me. So I definitely can't keep it. But again, I do like the ribs on it. The snaps do set way too far back to a point where they're almost part of like the thong part of a thong, right? Like the butt part of a thong. So I don't know. Who would want that? I don't know, maybe it's just like a me, like my body, like it sits there, my body type thing, but definitely not one I'm ever gonna keep. Okay guys, so we have a tank top style one here. Now, this is like the softest possible material. Like it feels so nice on my body, but this in lieu of having snaps in the crotch, like it's fully sewn together in the crotch, I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like an entire and very well hidden like an invisible zipper, but a zipper that goes like basically all the way down to here. And I can feel it like scratching against my back. Like it's so disappointing because this part is so soft. Like this is the material I want, but not with the zipper. So definitely not something I'm gonna keep. However, this whole like, I, what is this called? It's called like boat neckline or something. This like square neckline, right? This is not something I personally like. Just not my thing, but also this one has like a shelf type, like extra layer of a bra here to a point where it, it's not like sewn down. So it's like, I could see throughout the day this like kind of coming up and people being able to like see that there's an extra piece of the fabric there. So not really digging that. Now, this is um, a thong as well. And this one, it actually sits like basically right where my normal hip um, thong sits. This is kind of more the style I'm looking for, which is why this is so disappointing that it has like such a scratchy zipper in the back. Aside from like the neckline and the zipper, like I'd totally be all about this one. But again, like I, I, I can just feel it scratching me, like I need it off my body. Okay guys, so we have like a, a whole situation of a different type of bodysuit going on here. Like this is more like the trendy cut, I guess. I see this cut a lot, but it's like meant to, you know, for those who have boob, like literally give you side boob, right? However, when you have no boob, you just get side and then you have like this floppy bit here. Like definitely not something that fits my body type well, but the material is fine. It seems like thick and cheap, honestly. It's like very polyester-y and very like, everyone's like had like a scarf, like a very like scratchy, thin, see-through scarf. It has this type of material. But even though I'm not wearing um, a bra, I don't think you'd be able to see color through this. However, it's so thin, like, if you're someone who, you know, your nips come out and say hi a lot, like this is not the type of bodysuit for you because you will be able to see like every little bit of nip in this one. Now, interestingly enough, this is like the highest cut of any of the bodysuits I've tried, but I honestly kind of like that it sits here. Like you're getting a like th thigh brow action, I think it's called, right? So I do like that and I, I am this person, like I would literally put on a pair of like, you know, nice dark wash jeans and let it set like right here so you can see this poking out. Like, I think I would actually rock that, but this whole floppy bit ain't for me. Um, the back as well is like very much out, like this, there's no way you're, you're getting away with wearing any kind of bra in this, right? Without it showing at least. Now this is also a thong and it does have snaps at the bottom, but I can't really feel these ones as much even though there are three snaps here. But I do think, again, if I was to sit down, I would really be able to feel them. 
So definitely not a good like crotch roll placement anyway, but if I could get like, currently I want the fabric of the last one with the bottom cut of this one with no crotch snaps, I think. That would be like the perfect, perfect bodysuit. Let's see if we got it though. Okay guys, this is the last tank top style one. Now, if there was ever a basic V of a tank top bodysuit, it is this. This is like the most simple type of bodysuit I can imagine. No snaps, no thong, no sleeves, and you know, your regular type of rounded neckline. The neckline's fine. The thickness of the straps are also fine. This is again like a ribbed, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a very ribbed style material. Not as thick as the other ribbed one though, and it's actually pretty soft, I have to say. It's more of like a, it's definitely like a cotton blend, I would say, but way more on the polyester side than the cotton side. Um, it's fine, there's no snaps, it is not a thong. This is the first one that is not a thong. It is like very, cheeky though as you can see and it does sit like at basically my normal like thong line so again like a super super simple bodysuit it is fairly stretchy though and pretty comfortable so i do like that however this happens to me a lot because again i carry like a lot of weight in like this area like i'm getting that like you can tell you know, like the pit fat, right? Like the, what they call them, bat wings. No, these are bat wings. Whatever this like whole chunky situation is called. Like if I'm just like standing, you can like see it and that really bothers me. So I wish like either it was up a little bit higher, like the armhole, the armholes were cut like slightly smaller or maybe like the band was thicker to help cover it. So I really don't like that part of it. However, this is, a really comfortable, very basic, you know, tank top, thicker strap type bodysuit that I actually think a lot of people would like, just not me, not for me. Okay guys, so this is our first more like thinner spaghetti strap style one. Now, I am really bummed because this material is basically exactly like any type of shapewear, right? It's like really thick, really stretchy, but really like sucks you in and smooths you out. But this is, I think, because of my height, like short girl problems. It's so long that it's like bunching up everywhere. And it's not like I can, these are adjustable straps, which is nice, but it's not like I can adjust them more or else it's gonna be like here, right? And you're not even gonna see the strap, it's gonna be like way up into my pit. But I do like this material. It's just unfortunately too long of a bodysuit for me. However, if you are someone who has maybe like a longer torso or you're just like a way taller person, I do think this would fit you a lot better. Now, this has the problem that I get a lot with different types of shapewear. This is not a thong. It's like more of a cheeky style, but it's like the line of it goes right across your cheek to where I'm left with like an indent of like lower cheek and then just the rest of it smoothed out. So there's definitely like a line you can see there. So if you're fitting, if you're wearing something that fits tight to like your backside, you're gonna be able to see like the underwear line. So that's unfortunate, but it's, it's still like a good material. Again, it has adjustable straps. And I do think that you could get at least a little bit of mild support in this if you're someone who does have like a bigger chest but you don't want to wear like a full-on bra with this i do think it's tight enough and thick enough to give you like a little bit of something like the bare minimum of something so something to keep in mind um but definitely not for me just because of the whole like scrunchy business and everything and honestly it has underwear line anyway um it does have snap crotch and Actually, I can't really feel it, so that's like a good plus, but still not something I'm gonna keep. Guys, I don't know what in the world this is supposed to be. Like, first of all, this is not a bodysuit. This is totally bathing suit material. Like, it's completely double layered, and it's had that like, it's that shiny polyester-y thing, 
but also like I don't know who's looking for this kind of action. Maybe if you know you got bigger tatas and you're just looking for like nip covers basically because that's all that's going to cover uh, for anyone. And I have like the tiniest boobs and still like I can't it, like it barely fits over my boobs like I don't, I don't know. This this is not something I would ever keep or wear. However, I will give it um, a plus for having like a really nice back. Like I love low back lines. Like that's definitely something I like to wear, especially in the summer. It's like the less clothing, the better. As long as you're covered, right? Like this is not covered by anyone's definition. Like I don't know who is doing this. Also, this sits here, right? But this, the actual like lining of the leg hole is really thick but tight to a point where it's basically like riding up the lower half like into my internal organs. So it's not comfortable physically or mentally. Again, guys, I don't know who is going out in public like this. I mean, if, if you are that person, more power to you, you do you, I'm a do me, and there's no way in hell I would ever be kept, caught dead in this, ever. In public, in the bedroom, in anywhere on earth, like no. Um, and I can really tell this is a bathing suit because not only is it double lined and has this like weird shiny fabric, it doesn't have any snaps or any like open crotch. Like it, it's definitely a bathing suit that they're trying to pass off as a bodysuit. Which I mean, you know, if you can get one garment and wear it for dual purposes, like that's more power to you, right? Like I think that's actually a good thing. But you can like tell just by like the style and the feel and the fit and the material that Anyone looking at you would know you're wearing like a bathing suit as a top, so I don't know about that. Um, yeah, this one is like for sure going back, like no way. Okay guys, up next we have this very stringy like banjo of the bodysuit world, bodysuit. It's, it's interesting. Now, I really like this neckline with this. Because yeah, this is covered, but then you turn around and it's like, oh yeah, she's got a little something going on. But here's the thing. I am not like the thinnest girl in the world and I have back fat and like squishiness in my back and these things are cutting into it to where it's giving me like weird denty rolls. And that's really not super flattering, not what I'm going for. Now to its credit, it is double lined. So there's no way you're gonna get any like nippleness through this or anyone's gonna see your skin or anything and it's like very soft material and honestly even like the string parts it's definitely a different material but it's not scratchy or anything like it's not scratching against my skin it's just like it's slightly tight in my back but it's something where I think after wearing it for a bit like I wouldn't even notice anymore now this one is a thong and it's a very thin, narrow thong, so it doesn't feel super bad right now, but I do get the impression that after a while, I would start to notice it. So maybe not something to wear for like a super long period of time. This doesn't have any snaps, like it's fully sewn shut at the bottom, which I do think I'm actually starting to prefer, honestly. And yeah, I'm not gonna keep this just because of the whole like chunky back thing. But I do wish there was like maybe a bodysuit where it had like a side panel of this like stringy stuff, but still like a fully closed back. Cause again, like if I wanted to wear something like this in the, you know, late summer, the fall or early spring or something, like there's barely anything here. It's gonna get really cold. Um, yeah, like it's okay. It's just not the style I think I'm looking for. I'm looking for more like an everyday kind of bodysuit, but it's really well made. I can tell that and it's not like the most uncomfortable. Just maybe don't wear it for like eight hours straight. Okay guys, so this is our last one. Definitely a different type of neckline on this one. Like something like a little bit, I don't know, more of like a pizzazz on it than just standard like spaghetti straps. Now, I don't really like this neckline. Like I could tell like after a while, this is gonna start, it's not really tight or anything and it is adjustable as well. 
But I could tell after a while, this is gonna start to chafe my neck. Like it's gonna, I think that's a me thing. Like I can tell it's on my neck and I know it's gonna, first of all, take off like all my makeup because let's be real, like I never have the right shade on my face. So I have to blend it down into my neck and this is gonna show so much on this strap. Aside from that, this is like the type of material that I want. It's like that stretchy and like smooth on the outside, but it's like almost like slightly fleece lined on the inside, but super stretchy, super thick. Um, this is also a snap crotch as well. And as you can see, it sits like kind of like slightly above my normal like thong hip line. So nothing like super complicated, however, this snap situation, the snaps themselves are made out of like a, they're sewn into like a really scratchy thick material and I can feel it unfortunately. Like it's definitely like making me want to like itch my crotch, which is not something I'm trying to do in public. And aside from that, like it just doesn't fit me very well. Again, I think this is more of like a short torso problem. There's just like a lot of bunching and a lot of like extra material for me. But also like maybe if you have like boobs that actually fill this out, it would like take up some of that material so it like fits a little bit better. But so I don't think this type of neckline is for small titty girls like me. Um, but aside from that, it's like pretty well made. It's like very comfortable aside from like the whole itchy crotch thing. Um, definitely not something I'm gonna keep by any means. So I actually don't have like a standout favor at this point. Um, I'm gonna go back through and just see and maybe examine these a little bit more closely. And then I'll be right back and show you which one I'm actually gonna keep. Okay guys, so I'm in my favorite bodysuit. This is actually the first one I tried on. Um, so more like the t-shirt cottony type material um it's got like the snaps and like a thong and everything i styled it more how like i was actually wanting it to style right just like you know a pair of pants or a pair of like jean shorts and whatnot i don't think i'm actually going to keep any of these body suits unfortunately just because one I have decided I am not a snap crotch or open crotch type of person. Like I want it fully sewn shut so there's not like extra stuff like down there in between my legs. Especially since I do want a thong bodysuit. And I feel like if there's like the snaps and it's like starting to ride up into you, like it's not ever gonna be a good experience or at least that's something I'm looking for. So at least I've narrowed down more of what I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna do another video, like a second round and order another few black, um, more inexpensive bodysuits from Amazon. Now that I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I actually think I'll try searching more for like leotards as opposed to bodysuits. Cause I think that's, I think that's the difference between the crotches, right? Like leotards are always sewn shut and bodysuits can be or cannot be. So. Let me know if you'd be interested in that type of video. Also, should you have any like recommendations of bodysuits you love or maybe you want to see off Amazon, like leave them down below in the comments. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. Again, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you really like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel for more content and leave any comments. Should you have any future video ideas, I'll check them out and I'll see you next time. Bye.